Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Matt Lieberman. Shh, 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 shh. We got a video coming for everyone. Please be quiet. Hey, Subway isn't having the best year what, with all that Jared sh and the fact that every year more and more people are realizing it's just not good food at all. Mm -mm. But also, Subway location in Anchorage, Alaska was under an attack from a naked woman. Nikki Abrell was arrested after locking herself in the Subway bathroom for two hours, refusing to come out. And when she finally did come out, she was naked and phew! Mad, just like people in my life. She proceeded to break furniture, tear down ceiling tiles, throw food, and according to an eyewitness, smear feces all over stuff like you do when you're crazy. And once the police showed up, she then proceeded to attempt to fight them. She didn't turn out well for her. But look, if you're spreading feces around a restaurant in the nude and destroying shit, you know it can't end well. Nikki was arrested. Spoiler alert. Hey, you put that before the spoiler, you genius. Oops. It's unclear what substance or substances Nikki was on, but sources believe, according to the Anchorage police, that she was on a type of synthetic marijuana called called spice. Now, I've had spice before. It doesn't make you crazy. It just makes you feel a little weird. Mm. I remember Spice was a cable network where you, they had sex on mm. TV. I remember Spice is what you add to the relationship when things start to go south. Why can't this happen when I'm in a goddamn subway? Can you imagine being in that subway while something like that is happening? You know I'd be periscoping that shit. Literally, you'd have an actual periscope. And if smeared poo in a subway isn't gross enough for you, how about a dead mouse in your sandwich? Wait, hold on a second. There's a dead mouse themed sandwich coming to subway? Does that mean it comes with glow stick? No, Steve, don't be a dumb, okay? An expired rodent which had apparently died in the spinach was served to the customer, unlike the live rodent he had ordered. Now this subway location is in Oregon. A man named Jay Armstead stopped into the Lincoln City subway that's attached to a gas station. Side note, I never fully trust those fast food establishments connected to gas stations. There's just something about the association with gas and dirty toilet it doesn't create hunger for me. Ooh, it does for me. Give me a gasoline-soaked sandwich on toilet. The man ordered an Italian sub. First mistake, go roast beef. No, the first mistake was going into a subway for food. Oh, that's true. And he got a dead rodent accompanying the handful of fresh spinach the restaurant worker lovingly placed on that freshly cultivated bread. Armstead's friend immediately took a photo of the sandwich because that's exactly what you do first because Pixar didn't happen or her day. Her day. And for once, someone didn't cry lawsuit. The dude was super okay with it. He obviously didn't eat the sandwich and he also didn't accept the free sandwich being offered instead. Armstead considered the ordeal a freak accident, but will also never eat at a Subway again. And what did Subway have to say about all this? They issued a statement saying as soon as the customer alerted the owner about what happened, they were immediately given a full refund and an investigation was launched. To be cautious, all of the products in the sandwich unit were disposed of and a thorough cleaning took place in which the health department gave the restaurant a clean bill of health. There were no other complaints made. Oh, thank God the restaurant had a clean bill of health. I thought it wasn't out of the woods yet. Yeah, I was worried that I had to get a pacemaker like my grandma did did two days ago. Man, and that poor little rat probably watched Ratatouille and didn't make it past the veggie plate. Mm -mm. The Federal Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Ever heard of him? Uh, yeah. Sansa? She's my third favorite character on Game of Thrones. Ha ha! See? Get it. Well, even if you've never heard of Sansa, you'd be interested in what they did today. They released a report saying that we need to put an end to conversion therapy for LGBT plus youth. Perfect. This is good. I have always preferred retail therapy myself. Ooh, get a nice Blu-ray. Or a sweater. Mm. But joking aside, conversion therapy is based on the argument that homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and everything in between and around are mental disorders that can be cured with the power of prayer, which is kind of like saying that you can grow two inches taller just by wishing real hard. People are who they are. Damn right, and Samsa's report officially debunks those beliefs, saying once and for all that, quote, none of the existing research supports the idea that sexuality is a mental disorder or that there's any way to artificially change it. Or artificially inseminate it. This report is part of an aggressive pushback against the controversial practice following the death of 17-year-old transgender teen Lee Alcorn, who committed suicide after being sent to conversion therapy. This is the first federal report on record condemning conversion therapy and could lead to actual federal legislation banning it outright. Now, back in May, Representative Ted Lieu brought forth the Therapeutic Fraud Prevention Act, and that anybody who advertised it as a successful practice would be prosecuted for fraud under the Federal Trade Commission Act. Four states in the District of Columbia have banned it outright for minors. We can only hope that federal legislation will follow. And finally, did you ever get the feeling that your teacher wasn't actually reading your work, Steve? Uh, well, one student took to Reddit to show off how lazy his teacher just really is with this photo of an assignment that he got a perfect score on. And check out his answers. You just might get a chuckle or a guffaw. Ooh, or maybe a nice chortle. What about a snicker? Mm -hmm. The first one is just complete nonsense. The second brings up Frodo Baggins, and the rest of it is literally just the to be or not to be speech from Hamlet. So basically this kid gets an A in English and in trolling. We salute you, you slacker jokester, but don't double down on the dang mischief. Your teacher is lazy, but they can't possibly fall for that twice, right? 
right? So now we want to hear from you. What do you think about those subway stories? How do you feel about dead mice in your food? Would you pitch a big ruckus? Would you smear feces on the wall? How do you feel about conversion therapy? And would you ever troll your teacher? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm gonna leave room. I'm Steve Zargoza. I'll miss you. I'll See you tomorrow. Too. Bye bye. And nope. Good take, man. Good take. Real good really, take. just yeah, really nice work. a pleasure working nice with work. you. You're so a real good. professional and just your That's a done, everybody. <laughs> We're off set now. Okay. Yes. Everyone take two and have a bud lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a wild Dude, Friday night for your birthday. Oh my. Dude, can we talk about that?